Turn the front, we've got things to go. Fruit, fruit's good for us, it's got vitamin A. Vitamin A, of course, which is good for... Uh, <laughs> vitamin B, which we all know, is very good for... Um, scurvy, scurvy. <laughs> vitamin C is good for scurvy, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and there's a lot of scurvy around these days. People find I can't come into work, got scurvy, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, I live on a houseboat, and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, frothing at the mouth. Yeah, the old <laughs> Captain Cook problem there. Um, there's vitamin D, which again is good for... Uh, <laughs> vitamin E, which is good for skin. And then that's it. No more vitamins. The whole vitamin naming committee, they're going, ladies and gentlemen, vitamin F. Suggestions? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm off down a boozer. Apples are great. Apples are user-friendly. You just big, hardy. You grab them and you go, ar, 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 ar. And then you start to eat them. And <laughs> always do the dog impression first. <laughs> and when you get into the club, when you get close to the pips at the, at the cl in the middle, you go, Ugh! and you throw it away in case you swallow a pip and a tree comes out your head. Yeah? <laughs> we know this to be true. And oranges, there's a big war. I don't know about you, know, there's a, there's a sort of internal war going on between the big old fashioned oranges, big fuck off, uh, 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 kind of uh, uh, Stalinist, big fuck, uh, uh, kind of oranges. And the new baby Satsuma, Manolo, Kumquat, Benunda, Dirda, Chunta, MG, Satsuma, he kind of, way, way. Big fight going on there, because to eat a satsuma is a piece of piss. You just go flump, and then flump, and a flump. <laughs> and you break off these one by one, don't you? And you, you've got so much, you go, Aah! and then there's people in the room, you go, go on! <laughs> it's like a very cheap round, isn't it? Go on! Satsuma! <laughs> and if you're that other person in the room, you go, no, no, all right, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. So satsumas are great. Eat them piece of piss. But you can't do it with an orange. Okay? Do you want a bit of orange? If you got, I've got... I'm just... Come on, fucking get in. Because it's in, inside an orange, it's like the film Das Boot in there. <laughs> with Jürgen Proch now going, Don't let them get in to the orange! <laughs> Most important. All the juice will get out and it will not be good. <laughs> so breaking in with finger death charges. Let the peel come off only in small chunks. <laughs> So breaking in, push all the pips into bits they wouldn't expect. That'll be <laughs> So oranges, oranges can fuck off, that's what I say. And pears can fuck off too. Because they're gorgeous little beasts, but they're ripe for half an hour. And you're never there, they're like a rock or they're mush. In a supermarket, people hammering in nails. You just put these shelves up, mate, then you can have the pear. Really? Because you do do that squeezy, squeezy thing on fruit where you go in and go, oh, squeezy, oh. It's a test squeezy thing that you've seen French chefs do on television. Oh, squeezy, oh. But I have no frame of reference, so I'm going, oh. Is that good? Uh, I'm squeezing about this much. Is that good squeezy? It's a, that's an expert thing, isn't it? You know, that you see them go, oh, you know, this one. They don't even look at it. They just, you go, oh, shit. <laughs> No, it's got a hole in it. I'm not really... <laughs> I'll just put it on the end of a broom. Yeah, it's, a... it's the manager. <laughs> um... Yeah, so fuck pears. But pears are, pears are really, you know, like a rock. So you think, I'll take them home and they'll ripen up. But you put them in a bowl at home and they sit there going, no, no. <laughs> don't ripen yet, don't ripen yet. Wait till he goes out of the room. <laughs> Right, but now, now, now! <laughs> In Turkey, the Ottoman Empire, full of furniture for some reason. <laughs> and the Austro-Hungarian Empire, famous for fuck all! <laughs> yes, yeah, so all they did was slowly collapse like a flan in a cupboard. <laughs> and the German Empire, very organized, always build an empire, Einstein, Einstein, build an empire, very Prussian. And then they'd celebrate with the World War and then lose the whole fucking empire by the end of the war. <laughs> Then the 30s, Hitler, Czechoslovakia, Poland, France, Second World War, Russian Front, not a good idea. Hitler never played Risk when he was a kid. 
Because, you know, playing risk, you could never hold on to Asia. That Asian Eastern European area, you could never hold it, could you? Seven extra men at the beginning of every go, but you couldn't fucking hold it. <laughs> Australasia, that was the one, Australasia. All the purples. Get everyone on Papua New Guinea and just build up and build up. <laughs> We stole countries. That's what you do. That's how you build an empire. We stole countries with the cunning use of flags. Yeah. <laughs> you just sail around the world and stick a flag in. I claim India for Britain. And they go, you can't claim us. We live here. <laughs> 500 million of us. Do you have a flag? <laughs> We don't need a bloody flag. It's our country, you bastard. No flag, no country. You can't have one. That's the rules that I've just made up. And I'm backing it up with this gun that was lent from the National Rifle Association. Because, I mean, Napoleon had been steaming in there, you know, 100 years before. I'm going to kill them, going to kill them. I'm going to go, oh, it's a bit cold, it's a bit cold. <laughs> right. Okay, okay, bad idea. Um, and then Hitler, I've got a better idea, got a better idea. Oh, it's the same idea, it's the same idea. It's the same. So then God created the world, and the first day he created light and air and fish and jam and soup, and potatoes and haircuts and arguments and small things and rabbits and people with noses and uh, jam, more jam perhaps, and... Uh, <laughs> and soot and flies and tobogganing and showers and toasters and grandmothers and uh, Belgium. And <laughs> the second day he created fire and water and, and eggnog and radiators and lights and Burma and, uh, and things that go, Ugh, and, uh, and Colonel Gaddafi and, uh, and Arthur Negus. And I think the third day he probably... Uh, got lists and said, I, had, I can't remember what I've invented now. I've just been out living so far. And, um, and so everything sort of built up all through the days. And, you know, if you've got a deadline, you know how it works. Everything builds right up to the end. I think the, the seventh day, God was running around in the bed. Oh, my God, what happened? I... Rwanda, better correct Rwanda. <laughs> oh, sorry, I haven't quite done that. Um, the, the Tower of Pisa. Oh, it's leaning. Oh, sh <laughs> Damn. Toilets and French camping sites, there we go. Um, English football hooligans, there we go, whatever that is. Mrs. Thatcher's heart, there we go. Oh, fuck that. I know, I'll put a stone in, that'll work, there we go. This kind of way. So, yeah, and there's also labels in supermarkets. You've got labels on the foodstuffs now, so you can tell. It says four grams of protein. You go, ah. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> Is that far too little protein? Is it you're going to die of protein shortage or are you going to overdose on it? 0.02 a milligram of sodium. Well, now, sodium explodes in water. And do I need 0.02 a milligram of that? <laughs> but calcium, can you overdose on calcium? Can you go. Well, I think there's too much calcium in your diet. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Are you eating a lot of chalk salad? Yeah. He always gave him exactly what he bloody well wanted. Never, very lean, wasn't he? He, gave him ex he used every single item. He never came back and go, Q, I've got a lot of stuff I didn't use on that. Event. <laughs> Went all the way out to fuck God knows where, and this watch it turn into a hamster. What was the point of that? <laughs> These trousers, press a button, turn into jam. Why? <laughs> the hat turned into a bicycle. That was very funny. It was. He fell into the water. There were sharks there. He had a breathing apparatus. He could breathe for four minutes. He never went, shit, it's in the hotel. <laughs> I've got the trousers that turn into jam. Oh. When James Bond got into the Aston Martin with the ejector seat, the baddie sat in the fucking ejector seat. He never sat in the back. James going, uh, you couldn't shit in the front, man. <laughs> no, Mr. Bond, I will sit in the back. I will sit in the back, weed. I have a gun on you. I'm a smirch agent and you cannot go nowhere. <laughs> you couldn't come and shut up here in the front, could you? So, I've had a nice seat here. 
Light a company, it shall. No, I will not, Mr. Byrne. I will seek me back here. Where exactly are you from, by the way? <laughs> don't you take the piece out of me. I will come up in the front and talk to you. Now, what? Don't you talk? I am a smart agent. I have a voice synthesizer in my throat. <laughs> I can do any accent you can think of. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've lost the instructions, as he means. <laughs> and my voice box is stuck on shop demonstration. <laughs> which is a bit of a boomer. Fucking not a year. <laughs> Still, he's in the injector seat now. I'll press. Oh shit, I'm not in the Aston Martin. <laughs> I'm in the fucking Mini. <laughs> nice car, but no fucking ejector seat. Even the windows are those half ones, fucker. 